This video might be a little annoying to some of you, but I think for many of you who wants to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, this might just be the message you might need to hear. Well, look at that. Well, thank you for your service. Well, thank you for your support. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zipali here, hailing to you from Las Vegas. I'm here at the MGM Grand Arena. So this video might be a little annoying to some of you, but I think for many of you who wants to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, this might just be the message you might need to hear. So it's been uh, quite a different week for us this week, my wife and I, because we've been both out of Chicago and got my, got my uh, <laughs> bag here that I've been living out of for the last week. But we've been in, see, uh, uh, four different cities, five days, six different airports, and uh, we're building our office in Northwest Pacific Northwest area in Seattle, Tacoma, Washington. Uh, we flew into Dallas to do a project. Uh, we flew into Denver. Um, and now back to Chicago, but I'm on my way right now and oftentimes people ask what's the point? What is it all for? And is this really the sacrifice necessary to become a first-generation cash flow millionaire? Well, the reality is this this week not a lot of sleep this week not a lot of family time The good part about it is that I was able to take my son Jojo my 10 year old with me because he was asking me last week as I was telling him about this trip He's like poppy. What do you do on these trips? What do you do when you're on an airplane? I said why don't you come with us? Why don't you come find out? And he says, okay. So my 10 year old came with me on an airplane and he flew with me to Dallas, Texas. He flew me to Seattle, Washington. And uh, he saw what daddy does. And he's like, dad, this is fun. I like what you guys do. You know, you get to meet people and you get to, you know, enjoy you know, different food and enjoy different cities and states and get to meet interesting people. And this is work for you, dad? Yeah, that's, this is work, son. He goes, I like this. So I'm looking at the four different cities, five different days, six different airports. You know, it's kind of like the price you got to pay for success, you know, because there's so many different things we got going on. So the question I got to ask myself, if I'm going to pay the price for something, if I'm going to invest time, effort, uh, money, is what type of life do I really want to live? I've been asking you that question for the last couple of years here. What type of life do you want to live? Why is it all going to matter? Or here's why. Also here in Vegas, we're at the MGM Grand Arena. I can't tell you how many, I mean, look how busy Vegas is now, even if uh, everybody uh, coming to and through this pandemic. But the conversation we've been having here on the business trip, there's a bunch of people in line. There's so many people in line. So what's this line for? Is there a tour? Is there a trip? Is there something that people are in line for? You know what they're in line for? They're in line for going to the pool. The pool. And we're walking through there. We're doing a site visit because we're doing an annual convention here in August uh, at the MGM Grand Arena. And uh, we're doing something that the insurance industry has never done before. I think uh, for business in general in this modern era, not a lot of business like ours have ever done what we're about to do because we're about to make a daggone statement. And so I'm looking at myself and you know, I'm telling myself, okay, wonderful amenities, wonderful place, but now is not the time to go play. Now is not the time to go dip in the pool. Now is not the time to hang out and take in the sun because there's a time and place for everything. Now on our Sunday, on our Sunday uh, Seven Figure Switcher series, we talk about there's a time to plant, there's a time to cultivate, there's a time to harvest. It's not all at the same time. And if you want to be a first generation cash flow millionaire, I would think that there's a time to plant, harvest, increase your skills in a certain order, in a certain system of things. Oftentimes, when I'm looking around, I'm, saying, I'm comparing myself to a lot of people who uh, were in the same situation as I was. What would you do if you had a $1,400 stimulus check? Did you spend it on vacation? Or do you, did you use it to increase your skill set? Did you use it to increase the fact that you just were hammered throughout this pandemic, getting through this pandemic, that you weren't happy with the income or the financial stability or instability that you had, you're dependent upon a stimulus check, you're dependent upon church and charity, you're dependent upon a tax refund to help you get through the tough times. Well, that's the exactly the reason why I deferred gratification, excitement, fun, punted it forward a little bit, so therefore we can establish something where we have financial stability, where we have financial security. It proved that our company grew by 65%. It proved that last month I paid our guys over $1.7 million last month in commissions because we're able to work through and grind through the times where most people just want to play and be entertained versus increasing their skill set and wanting to get better and improve to make sure their financial impact of what they're going through and about what they're about to experience is insulated for what external reasons there are out there. So that being said, the question I want you to ask yourself is this. If you are going to set yourself out to be saying, you know what, I'm going to be financially free. Do you have a number? 
Do you have a system and a process to help you get there? Do you have people around you that's willing to invest in you to help you out? To take trips like this, to go out and do site visits, to actually see if your plan is actually gonna work, to prepare in advance, because listen, success is all about preparation and execution, meeting opportunity. And if you put yourself in a position like success, enjoy, success, enjoy, without applying yourself to get to the next level, guess what's gonna happen to you? Not much. You're out there, you're making money to spend the money, making money to spend the money, versus making the money, investing the money, investing time how to compound that money. So therefore, you can have the financial freedom, stability, systems, processes, relationships, associations, to always help you get to that next level. So that's the question you gotta ask yourself, which is what life did you sign up for? And if you say, Matt, I wanna be first generation cash flow millionaire, and my question to my friends is, are you really putting in the work necessary to get you there, or are you spending too soon? Are you enjoying too soon? I'm not saying for you not to have fun. I'm not saying not for you not to go out there and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Of course, that's what we're doing. We're about to take our guys for five, six days to Bora Bora here in June. But sometimes people say, I, I need to do this every week, every weekend, every opportunity. There's a holiday that month. Sometimes you got to invest a little bit more than just one month, one week. Sometimes you got to invest for a period of time. Want to know a funny thing? When my wife decided to put our head together and say, you know what, this is something we really want to do. We grinded for three years straight without a vacation. And then when we did take a vacation, we came to Vegas with a good friend, Rodolfo and Ceci Vargas, with a good friend, Jose Marlene Gatan, to hang out with them because they can understand what we're deciding to sacrifice and go through. And guess what? All three of us today, all are first generation cash flow millionaires. That being said, you gotta ask yourself, what life did I sign up for? And is it worth it when you get there? Only you can answer that question. By the way, cannot wait for us to get out here to share the stage with Iron Mike Tyson, Joe Coy, uh, Frederick De Silva, Patrick Lencioni, and many others that we're about to reveal here in the next few weeks, because we are about to put out a show here in August of 2021, making a statement to our industry and literally the business community. So that being said, guys, here, drop your thoughts, your comments, your follow-ups, your feedbacks in the comment section below. Don't know what you're thinking. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted next time we upload our next episode. So that being said, guys, I'm your Money Smart Guy from the MGM Grand Arena. And until we meet again, continue to smart, continue to smart, and be money smart today. Bye-bye.